Internet fame comes with a price. Everything you do online can be judged by literally anybody. So it's best to just, you know, kind of take care, be careful, watch what you say. Act in accordance to terms of service and be a good person. Not that many people do this, or at some point they have a terrible lapse. Like me, when I had my incident involving a word. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> for now. Basically, you've seen this fella, Johnny Elbows. Started off as a bit of a meme. Right? Hey! You gotta be quicker than that, buddy. You gotta be quicker than that, buddy. YouTube legend. I've been reacting to Johnny Elbows and his amazing content on TikTok for a while now. It's, he's been around for a good bit. And every single time I react to any sort of TikToker and I say, hey, that's a, I'm sure they look, they seem like a nice person uh, or whatever. Whenever I see anyone, people in my comments of my videos always give me little tidbits of information. And recently, I've been getting some bad information about Johnny Elbows. This is not a hate video, by the way. Do not go and attack Johnny Elbows. We're just going to be going over the details of some stuff. So who the f is Johnny Elbows? <laughs> Who's Festus the Leech Lord? Well, I can tell you either if you'd like. Do you remember Johnny Elbows first video content? By the way, Johnny Elbows has been around for a long time. I'm finding reports online that Johnny's like 40 years old. I don't know if that's f true or not, but you can't, there's not a lot of information out there. Let's be real on this, on this fella. Johnny Elbows, like I mentioned, got famous on TikTok for eating chips through Bluetooth. How is that possible? I really don't know, but it's beautiful. The man was chewing before the chips were even in his mouth. You gotta be quicker than that, buddy, said Johnny. Johnny is a man of many talents, a person of much stuff. Johnny's done it all on TikTok, pretended to be a helicopter, hit the gritty, do all the dances, uh, and much more. Truly a great content creator. And as you can tell by the way that Johnny looks, um, Johnny has something going on. I'm not exactly sure what, uh, but Johnny is a special needs TikToker. And there are a lot of special needs TikTokers. Is it good that that's a reason someone can go viral? No, but I don't control my TikTok al algorithms, or do I? Do I can, are you going to tell me I control my Instagram algorithms too? Because every other fucking video is gay, all right? And I don't, I'm not gay, <laughs> all right? Fuck. The algorithms on TikTok seem to really support content creators with quirks. I don't, you know, it could be any sort of thing. In this case, it is the stature of Johnny Elbows. People like making fun of Johnny Elbows a lot. Is it rightful? No, I try not to do it. Um, the comments are always mean. There's a lot of, you know, nice comments, not a lot of supportive people, but in general, the TikTok algorithm really likes promoting this type of content. But I wanna know what you guys think about that. And I also wanna know what you think about the other characters on TikTok that have been sort of historically up to, I don't wanna say no good, but they've been prone to being manipulated and trolled and sort of having meltdowns. Take World of T-Shirts and also Daniel Larson, both characters online that have had bizarre pasts and, and a lot of strange things. World of T-Shirts killed a fish and then apologized for it. Okay, so a lot of people are upset about a leaked video of me stomping on a fish. Daniel has done a lot of really fucked up stuff, to be honest, and has an entire track record and just a whole loyal group of uh, a, a whole cult essentially that follows him around and does his bidding and manipulates him. You want to start telling the bring it? Okay, I'm on the phone. Get the out now. Police. You have the warrant for your fucking arrest. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh shit. The whole thing is absolutely fed up. And I'm worried to see how far all this is going to keep going. Um, if this is just like a new thing, someone with a, a, a mental deficiency gets just exploited by the internet into doing fucked up stuff. Um, it's happened before, obviously. We got Chris Chan, um, you know, that that was pretty bad. He's out of jail now. World of T-Shirts, World of T-Shirts is another guy that I've got my eye on very closely. Um, he's been on a rampage lately and has been getting yelled at by people um, in New York City. He's the king of New York, by the way, and I hope nothing bad happens to, to World of T-Shirts. I really like him, he seems like a good kid, but uh, it seems like he's also becoming an alcoholic, which is really bad, and I think Maybe he should get some, maybe he, he should get some help. I don't really know, man. It's strange. Um, An African-American with greasy hair 
and old ass clothes sucker punches me. Yeah, people just get him to say really f***ed up stuff on uh, on Cameo, man. Just people exploiting the, uh, these these fellas on TikTok, man. It's not good. Also, he just drinks a lot and throws up. He's thrown up like eight times just from getting so drunk, which is not good. <laughs> Bad. And then you have Daniel Larson, like I mentioned, guys, who is probably the closest example to, to Chris Chan um, that I could give, but just because he's being manipulated by a large group of people all the time, who are people are gaslighting him into believing insane shit, like the fact that he personally knows Donald Trump, Kamala Harris, and many other celebrities. The internet has completely ruined this man's life. It's his own fault to an extent. Uh, but he's mentally ill. He's got, I think, schizophrenia. Um, I'm not exactly sure on that, um, but he's been homeless before. He's beat people up before. He said really weird. He's got an obsession with Grace Vanderwall. I mean, there's levels to this thing. Johnny Elbows is pretty low on the list. And Johnny Elbows hasn't posted either, which is good. I'm, I'm proud of Johnny a little bit um, in spite of being a creep. So uh, this is all important, by the way, because Johnny Elbows is being manipulated by TikTok and by some person who's just exploiting them for views. Uh, which I assume you, they get thousands and thousands of views and they've made a lot of money, but I assume Johnny Elbows has probably seen none of that money. Take Daniel Larson, for example. He's been exploited by managers, etc. These things never end well. And sometimes stuff happens that isn't just haha funny. That's a funny TikTok. The world is a good place. Sometimes weird things happen. And that's what uh, that's what this that's what this video is about. So a little more on Johnny first, though. Johnny's from Nebraska, home of Reuben sandwiches and TV dinners. Horrible, horrible place. And home of Johnny Elbows as well. Be beautiful TikTok star. Johnny has his own TikTok account that he's posted on for a while that's been deleted a couple times. He's deleted himself, I believe. Uh, but the majority of the content that has come out about Johnny has been coming from a TikTok account called The Underfaker, which is not Johnny. And Johnny hasn't even posted on his own main channel for a while. He's been posting as a, uh, a sideshow act on this channel called The Underfaker, aka Mario, aka guy that is exploiting a disabled person. This person started to make Johnny a show on his account, um, and they would get thousands and thousands of viewers on lives, almost 20,000 at some times. I'm not sure exactly what the peaks were, but it was making bank off the elbow and we can assume that this person has known johnny for a while because it's you know they've been they've been kind of ride or die for a little bit it seems like they seem like pretty good little buddies but this dude saw a massive opportunity in basically just exploiting someone who has special needs uh and making them do things to to make them <laughs> it's just it's literally just i mean just take a look for yourself this isn't this isn't content that johnny elbows wants to be making johnny drops it low johnny we're almost at five million dude Never, never, never. It doesn't seem like. Maybe it is. I don't know. But it's just kind of weird. It doesn't really seem like it's a mutually beneficial uh, thing here, to be honest. And by the way, guys, I love lol cows and I love people who just, you know, uh, are living their lives very poorly and, and pu putting it out on the internet. It's fun to make fun of those type of people. This is a different thing. Hence the reason I haven't made a video on this yet. Uh, I think the more important part of this is the underfaker just sort of exploiting Johnny elbows and they're walking around in public making fun of children it's so strange so this whole short period of massive content was very recent it started with them hanging out in this weird little public area and then johnny had a bit of a slip up and he showed his pants there was a poop stain and it was really embarrassing and it was just i kind of felt bad for him i was like oh that's you know it's probably brown paint um and that's what johnny even said it's brown paint Sat in some wet paint. It happens. It, it genuinely happens. They want to know if you had a poopy accident. No, it was just... I was sitting on a paint, wet paint, and it smeared my pants. Yes. See, everybody, just wet paint. And then more interesting stuff continued to happen, as you could probably imagine. It, when a cocktail like this is being filmed live, a cocktail in including Johnny Elbows and the Underfaker. This all came to a head when Johnny was arguing with some kids. Some kids were heckling Johnny. Johnny was arguing back. Underfaker's telling Johnny to just leave them alone and they'll go away. 
based in red build. All right, that's true. That should have been what happened. All right, I'm on I'm on the underfaker side here. Johnny then suggests that the girl, the young girl apparently that is making fun of them is uh, interested in him, which is very strange. Then Johnny goes on to say that the girl has a cute butt. Don't say that, Johnny. That's fucking weird, bro. I just want to be friends. We are friends, but... Hey. All right, they're leaving y'all. Sorry, I apologize about this, everybody. Sure that girl in the short hey, keeps man. looking at me. Leave him alone, John. Don't pay them no attention, man. If you don't give them any attention, they won't bother you. You know she what I mean? Butt, no, John. What? What? Uh, no, dude. No, dude. No, not her. Not her butt. Her shorts. No, dude. No, man. No, dude. That's fucking weird, man. You should have just done the gritty. T Tbh. Should have just done the gritty, and maybe shit again. All right. Johnny is not a uh, a regular dude. To be honest with you, I don't really know a better way to put it. But, uh, seems like this was bound to happen to me, to be honest. So, it happened. This was a while ago, about a month ago. Johnny's cameraman ropes him in and is more rational out of the two of them. Uh, and, and then there are, it's, they're online, dude. He says it's not okay for him to say that, which is f***ing true. And then Johnny tries to backtrack immediately and covers it up by saying he liked the shorts she had on, which is just f***ing weird in and of itself, man. Come on, man. It's, 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 it, it, it <laughs> that's fucking weird dude just just don't talk just don't be dancing out at the public park all right with your poop stain on your butt the whole situation is really bad you've got a one guy who's exploiting his disabled friend and then immediately uh ditching him when he says something disgusting which is based you know i'm gonna stop saying that as well uh and then b johnny is just a person who probably doesn't, maybe can't see, wears glasses, and understands that it's not right to say, and then is just trying to be entertaining, but also says something extremely inappropriate, which shouldn't really be excused. It's fucked up, man. It's a really complicated situation. Uh, well, actually, it's not that complicated. It's wrong on all sides. But Underfaker also just claims he's one of his friends, whatever, but um, it seems to me like he's profiting off of Johnny's downfall. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Big Boy this is Underfaker. here, a.k.a. Mario. AKA the camera guy from Johnny Elbow's Live. Y'all, I am so sorry for what he said today. That shit's fucking disgusting. I do not condone it. I'm fucking sickened. Um, really, like, been nauseous since that shit happened. Um, just absolutely appalled. Um, I lost all respect for that dude. I don't give a fuck about his condition. There's no excuse for what he said. Y'all, I gotta be honest with you, I have like 20,000 notifications and I'm not exaggerating. So Fellow basically gets really mad at the disabled person that he's exploiting uh, when they say something outlandish to a child in an extremely strange situation that was facilitated by the man filming this. It's a, like I said, it's a really weird, it's a really, really, really strange situation. I'd like to know your guys' thoughts. I'd say just start off by don't filming Johnny El don't film Johnny Elbows. Don't let's uh you know, don't do that. Don't don't film the shit stain. Don't do that. It's funny to laugh at on TikTok, but it always ends up weird. It always ends up going weird, it seems like. Even when they don't have shit stains. Like people just fing get weird online whenever they start to get a following. And TikTok is no different. TBH. I think it's safe to say though that the tag team of TikTok giants, Under Faker and Johnny Elbers are no more friends. No more friends. No longer. No more friend. Okay? Yes. Now, on Johnny's account, he hasn't posted in a year, but uh, he went live shortly after all this stuff took place and apologized, which makes sense. It's valid. I take it all back what I said to that girl. And I'm sorry I said that. I wish I'd take it all back. And Mario, when you get this, I'm sorry. That's enough. I hope you forgive me someday, and if you don't, that's okay. So Johnny apologized, pretty, la you know, standard standard issue apology after ex fucking saying some weird shit about a kid, dude. I'm not a big fan of pedophiles, to be honest. I really don't like them that much. Um, I'm trying to stay well within the YouTube guidelines. Um, there's just so much I can't say, really, to be honest with you guys. Um, so I'm trying to keep it unbiased. Look at my wig. Let's take let's take a moment to look at my wig. Does this look like the wig of a sane man? No, it doesn't. I'll answer for you. Also, Johnny apologized again, and he started off the video by literally picking his nose. I'm sorry. 
everybody, everybody in this whole planet. I'm not on TikTok anymore. I'm just gonna do this one last time. One last time only. And that officer I talked to, FBI or something, ended up in jail for a while. And after that, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Had no problems in Missouri Valley, but here. What? Yeah. He also mentions that he talked to a police officer or FBI agent, and they just told him that he might have to go to jail for a little while, which I don't really know if that's true at all. I don't think that's how jail works. So just one comes up to you and be like, hey, you might have to go to jail. I think it's just people controlling him, which that's what kind of uh, the point of this is, is uh, there's a lot of trolls out there. And there's a lot of people who, who just get straight up taken advantage of because they don't know any better because they are literally disabled and they are special needs and they don't understand things the way that uh, just most people do. Not sure if there's any other way to put it. So yes, I'm very angry that uh, Johnny Elbows is a weird fucking creep. Um, but at the same time, I don't really, I don't really expect anything different when he's put in a scenario by his friend Undertaker and whatever his name is, Underfaker. I don't know, dude. He then starts begging his friend from Russia to help get him off the hook. Dude, it's like Lester from GTA 5, all right? At the Diamond Casino, you just drop 20K on a horse race, boom, out, five stars. Oh, f call Lester. That's not how it works in real life, Johnny. It's not how it works. And Joseph, I will be calling you. Maybe one of these times you can help me out. You can help me out like old friends. Please just help me out, Joseph. From Russia. That's not how it works, dude. You can't just uh, you can't just call a favor in. <laughs> Ask Andrew Tate how that worked in Romania. I don't think he's going to go to jail over this because I don't think what he did is actually a crime. I just think he's fucking creepy and weird. I just wanted to share my thoughts a little bit on that and see, more importantly, what you guys think about um, these characters online that are getting manipulated and, and used and exploited by people. And I guess I'm exploiting them too by making a video about this, but, you know, I've got a wig, so.